Hello everyone, I'm An Shaowei from research team. And today my talk is about toward the Eastern 2.0 sharding universe. And also, before it's complete and delivered, there is a gap between now and the end game. So what we shall build for it? So um, this is the well-known Ethereum roadmap that I don't need to go through again. The outline is quite simple. All these phases are, have its own goals. And however, from the design to production, there's actually like, it's actually like this. So in practical, it's like a twisted a highway layer by layers and connected. So the um, the current uh, the current approach is much better than the early uh, sharding and Casper design, like in the 2017. And <clears throat> where there were no beacon chain between the uh, East One chain and East Two chain, and the sharding chains are actually they were depending on the East One chain. But however, even with the beacon chain we still have to convert the backward compatible issues for it. And for the design areas, something uh, sometimes it's vertical, and sometimes it's horizontal. And, and that, um, I recall that back in 2017, research team has received some feedback from the community, from the client teams, that we should have more incrementalism in the design um, philosophy. That is uh, to add more, uh, to add many small incremental steps, uh, step by step changes instead of a few uh, large sound drums um, to compare this to different strategies. And for example, when we are building uh, a city with incremental strategy, we should start from the base construction and then build the small, uh, small houses. And then uh, on, nearby the small houses, we build the higher buildings. So that's the incremental uh, plan looks like. And for the southern plan, <coughs> uh, with the southern implementation, we would draw the blueprint very, very carefully and start to construct. And suddenly, the castle just landed. So <coughs> I'd say that uh, current, the current approach in East 2 is much more uh, toward the incrementalism design. But um, there's still something that we need to think about. So um, the, the disadvantage of the, uh, the incremental design is that um, to, in the Part of you, you can see that uh, it might waste some time to build the face and faces. And there's also <coughs> um, the Bico fallacy thing. Uh, you can see this that uh, Bico, he has a very, very good sense of the smell, but very, with a very limited eye, eye sign. So it's possible the prey is just in front of them, but it's downwind. Uh, so they can see the, the prey, even if the prey is very close to it. So, so is that in the, uh, the protocol design. So that's why we usually have to go back and forth and to fix problems that are hidden somewhere. <coughs> and okay, so Yasek and I uh, organized a survey recently. The survey was for the uh, Eastern community, and especially the developers. And one of the questions is, um, what core chain properties 
or functionalities do we <coughs> sorry uh, do you want to see um, implemented in is 2o or is 21.x so we got uh, about 69 people answer this question and I categorize them uh, with some simple text as below and <coughs> The top three wishes, um, there are scalabilities, proof of stake, and the gas and free model improvements. Those three different requirements, but in some point, they are overlapping. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, they are overlapping um, in the is 2 old design map. <coughs> so, um, I select some of the topics based on the top wishes today to introduce to you. And um, these three topics um, include the abstract and the stacking and aggregation, and some significant changes that will happen in the East 2 uh, sharding universe. So the first one is the layer one account abstract. So um, it has been discussed in the East one point X as well that um, in the abstract uh, account uh, model, all contracts are for world contracts. So there's no, um, all, all accounts are for world contracts. So uh, there are two main strategies. One is the, the we only uh, abstract the signature, and another one is we do full abstraction, include the nouns, gas, and payment. And <coughs> sorry, and um, with the guaranteed uh, transactions, and um, also um, if we got into the E two EEs. We will have the, each EE can have its own different um, execution environment. And also, each environment can have different uh, account abstract uh, model inside it. So it's very uh, fix, flexible and very uh, easy to plug into one to each other. <coughs> And another topic I want to talk about is the EIP 1559. Uh, it's the free market model change um, created by Vitalik and Eric Kohner. And so in the, this scheme, uh, we will have a dynamic base free value. And this value is addressed by the utilization uh, rate. So if the utilization rate is, uh, is over uh, 50%, this uh, spatial variable will be uh, will increase, and if it's <coughs> sorry, if the utilization rate is under fifty percent, this uh, this value will be decreased. So um, <coughs> so since it's um, update um, automatically, it allows the user doesn't have to do more work on this. The wallet service can help to uh, define the the fair free for the users. So it actually, um, it's actually uh, make a lot of UX better than the current state crawl. So, and also the best free will is always burnt. This um, design rationale is to prevent the miner or the proposer from manipulating the free in order to extract more frees from the user. So um, generally, it will be a, a more fair model than the stake rule. <clears throat> and before talking about the staking, um, I want to mention the Casper FFG again. So Casper FFG is the finality tool for finality uh, protocol for the S2O. So the validator, <coughs> um, the, the duty of validator has three steps. One is to uh, make deposit to the East one deposit contract. And the second one is uh, when the block has enough, um, has to vote for the uh, current epoch, the current uh, checkpoints. 
And if the uh, checkpoint got in enough votes, we call that this uh, checkpoint is justified. And also, um, if the checkpoint is, uh, it, uh, if the checkpoint uh, has the justified uh, descendants, we call this uh, block or this um, checkpoint is got finalized. So that's the basic uh, validator duty. <clears throat> and um, we also know that uh, the misbehaved validator, they will get slashed. So what is slash? Slash is that um, it will in protocol, uh, it will deduct the validator's balance from the protocol. So um, <clears throat> after migrating the, to the full proof of stake system, it will introduce a new economic mo model. So Colin Myers from Consensus has been working on this um, economic models for a while, and the model is based on the, the current foreign state. I encourage people, um, especially the economists, to take a look at uh, his uh, work and give, give feedback for the economic side. So similar to the mining pool, we can expect that there will be staking pool in the fu near future. And if the validator are not online for a while and they can't finalize any uh, checkpoints, so they will be uh, penalized as well. So uh, based on that, it's very important to have a, a stable networking environment for the proof of stake uh, uh, validators. And the next topic is about the network latency. So um, this message are the most um, overhead of the sharding network, including the attestations, which is the vote of the, between the beacon chain and the shard chains. And um, the second one is the uh, transactions. So the transactions only uh, in the sharding network. And also there are blocks, uh, including the beacon block of layer and also the shard blocks. So, um, and we have cross link. So the shard block will point to the beacon block and the beacon block uh, would refer to the shard block sometimes. That's called the cross link. So the cross link uh, is included in the attestation data per shard chain and then got included in the, broad, uh, in the beacon chain. So also the shard chain and has its own subnet, um, this very clear, but sometimes the cross shard networking communication is frequent. So um, with the latest is to speak, we have uh, 4 million validators, 64 starts per epoch, and six uh, seconds beacon block time. And we will lead to uh, 64,000 uh, individual signature on the beacon chain. But the news is that uh, this individual signature can be aggregated into the smaller uh, message. <clears throat> and um, in the shining network side, uh, we have 64 kilobytes uh, block data cap capacity and three seconds shot block start time. And it will, inter it will lead to about like 21 kilobytes uh, per second uh, in per shot. So that's the overhead here. And um, about the networking uh, layers, uh, it's to uh, OR use the LP2P as the base networking protocol. So under the, uh, under, under the uh, networking layer, um, it's the peer connection. So the peer connection, uh, it depends on the peer discovery protocol which you are using. And the, um, the true business um, logic is, is uh, the message is broadcasting uh, with the, sub, the publish and sub, uh, subscribe system. So uh, we use the gossip sub protocol to 
to broadcast the um, subnet messages inside the shard chains. So yeah, but imagine that if we have like 1,000, uh, sorry, uh, 1,064 shard chains and about 4 million radiators, it will be very large. <clears throat> and also, um, we'll have to think about the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network topologies. So there are three possible cases, which is the structured um, topologies and also the unstructured topologies. And that uh, include the flooding, uh, gossip, uh, epidemic, and random work. So the gossip sub is included in this category. And also, it's possible to, hype, to uh, combine the structured and unstructured uh, topology into the hybrid model. So uh, this is an example of how can we implement it uh, simply. So the, um, in this uh, simple model, uh, the validators are, they can uh, broadcast the message inside the shard by using the gossip sub protocol. And only the proposal of the given slot, uh, of the given uh, shard, will, they, are only, they are the only one who have to collect all the signatures for the given slot, sorry, for the given shard. So uh, the, the uh, overhead only inside the subnet, and only the uh, validators, uh, only the proposals have to exchange the aggregated uh, signatures. But this simple model has two um, counts, which is reducing the validator privacy, and other nodes can need to trust uh, the list proposals. And if the proposal doesn't do their, uh, their work well, then the, other, the rest of the validators will lose the uh, reward from it. So it's too easy. Another one is uh, implemented by consensus uh, research team. Um, it's called Handle. Handle allows the aggregation uh, of thousands of signatures uh, just under a second. And, and organize, it's, it's, uh, it's done by organizing the connection in levels. So it's more like a structured uh, design. It's doing well, but um, we also need to think more about how can we utilize the hybrid model more efficiently. So um, it's is always very co is a collect but rate uh, work. So uh, I think Justin just mentioned about that very well. And I want to highlight again, so we have the EIP, East Research, and Magicians, and East2 Speak. These are the sites that you can find more deeper uh, knowledge from it. And also, there's a bounty initiated by Justin, and you can get uh, five East if you found any bug on the current Beacon Chain uh, Speak. And finally, I want to say that um, even we are facing, um, while the Beacon Chain protocol is almost done, and there are some optimizations that client teams are working on. And generally, I'm very uh, optimist or optimistic of uh, what's happening and exciting about how can we solve this, pro uh, this problem in the next few stages. And okay, so it's, um, I'm um, co-hosting a breakout with Yasek tomorrow morning. And if you are interested in knowing more about the, how uh, the de developer experience looks like in the phase one and phase two stage, um, please come with us and join the breakout session. And uh, if you want to know more about the East 2 uh, discussions, uh, there's a chance like if you travel next to, uh, after the Japan tour, and you can come to Taiwan, there's a conference called Crosslink, and just type in crosslink.taipei. Okay, that's the side credits. Thank you.